let's see. So, um, so Safa and Zahid. So, do you guys know what role playing is? About me, I don't know. Okay. So, when you role play, the way that you role play is you um, you're going to take on the the role of somebody else. So, for instance, you might be a leader of a country. You might um, you might be a famous actor. There might be different things like that that you take on the role of. Okay, all right. You might play the role of a chef. Different things like that. Okay. Let's see. So you guys are from Iraq and also from Pakistan, right? Right. Okay. So good. 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 So um, yeah. Let's see, guys. So let's see what we can do. So Sa Safe. Hi, Safe. Pa. With me, Hi, Safa. 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 Sorry, Safa. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. Yes. Yeah. So Safa. Um. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, Safa. Uh, who's your favorite singer? Um, I'm sorry. I don't like that. You don't. You don't like singing at all. Okay. Yeah. All right. Do you watch movies? Not always. Sometimes, if I with my if I with my family on uh, dinner and lunch, if you suddenly anyone on the TV, I, maybe I watch with him, with them. Okay. What What else do you do for fun? Uh, I like just uh, synthesis movie. Scientist movie. You like what? Scientist movie. You like scientific movies? Oh, do you like a lot yeah. of scientific things? Okay, all right. Well, what's your what's your favorite movie? I don't like anyone. Well, what do you like? So, who's your who's your favorite actor? <laughs> <laughs> Who, who's your favorite uh, actor? Maybe his this this case is this strange for you. But he, he, uh, here we have many people. They don't like any actor, any movie, any music. Okay, so no problem then. Okay, so arms dealers. Do you know what an arms dealer? Is? Have you ever heard of an arms dealer? Safe. <laughs> Come on, just just uh, no. just answer me. Do you, you know an arms dealer? Do you know what they do? No. Okay, so they're they trade weapons. It's it's okay, All right? So wow, there's some pretty uh, pretty crazy stuff. Okay, so yeah, so do you know um, you know uh, when you go? Well, shoot, Paul doesn't want to be a border crossing agent. Uh, yeah. Okay, I know what it is. No, I was just, I was just, I was just, I was just preparing myself. Okay. So, um, <laughs> so yeah. So Safa. Okay. You're, um, you're dealing arms to Russia. Oh, wh where'd he go? Okay. <laughs> so Zahid, hi Zahid. Hello, sir. Hey Zahid, how are you? I am fine, sir. Okay. How are you? Doing well, doing well. So, Zahid, would you like to be a dealer? Um, yeah, sure. Okay. So, you're going to be selling weapons, okay? All right? It's a hard job. <laughs> no? Are you okay with selling weapons or not? Um, okay. Okay. Do you know the different type of weapons available? You know, like AK-47, M-16, um, I don't even know them, you know, G hand G grenades, bazookas, yeah, do you know Do you know everything like that, Zahid? Yes, uh, about some of uh, it I know, uh, TT, 9mm, um, AK-47, G3, and... Okay, good, good, good. So, um, 
Yeah, so Paul, you're also going to be an arms dealer, okay? It's an honor. It's an honor. And Furkan, yeah. Furkan, so so you're going to be uh, you're going to be North Korea. You need, you need to you need you need to buy some weapons, and you're going to have to talk to both these guys and figure out which uh, which weapons you can get at the lowest price. And you guys basically have to um, have to be the ones that are going to be able to to sell to. Um, Kim Jong, what's his name? Kim Jong, right? Kim Kardashian. So, Kim Kardashian. <laughs> okay, so yeah. So this is who you're selling to. Do you know this guy, Zahid? Which one? This guy Which in the picture. That? Yeah, he's a Korean yeah, leader. I think it's a, uh, it's a uh, prime president of... Uh, North or South Korea, I think. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. I think. So yeah. South mm -hmm. South Korea. President. Uh, North yeah, North Korea, North Korea actually. North, North Korea. North, okay. North Korea. North Korea. Yep. So basically, what you're doing is you're selling against Paul. Okay. So you're an arms dealer, and then Furkan is uh, Kim Jong. Okay. All right. So he's gonna have to buy some weapons off you. You guys are just gonna have to uh, to outsell each other. And just when you guys name the weapons, I'll put them up on the screen. Okay? What a lovely class. Uh, Furkan. Okay? Yeah. So so go ahead, Furkan. W what's the first weapon you want to buy? Uh, first of all, I'm going to buy uh, 1,000 assault weapon, assault rifles, then 50 bazookas, and 10 grenades. Okay. Are you so, able to uh, sell those? Of course, man, we can offer you far more than, than you want. We can offer you plenty of rifles, you know, um, maybe some tanks, helicopters, even a carrier if you want us, even a submarine. So what kind of weapons, do, you know, what kind of uh, rifles do you want? M41, ACR, SCAR, whatever you want, with a difficult, you know, scopes. Oh, I don't know anything about weapons. Just, just tell me which one is the cheapest and strongest. Yeah. And well, Zahid, one, one second, Paul. Yeah. So, par sorry, Paul. One second. So, Zahid, you got to remember, you want Kim Jong to buy the weapons off you, not off Paul. So every once in a while, you're gonna have to interrupt him, okay? And say, hey, listen, listen, listen. I have better weapons than what this guy has. I have, um, you know, yeah, I have the most powerful grenades, things like that, blah, blah, blah. So you're going to have to interrupt each other every once in a while. Not all the time, okay? All right? But you got to speak up as I hit, okay? Let, all right? let me clear, sir. Uh, have I to pretend, pretend uh, like a seller or a buyer? No, you're going to be selling. You're trying to sell. Paul's trying to okay. sell as well. Okay, Furkan, Kim Jong, he's the buyer, okay? Okay, all right. okay. Okay, go ahead, guys. Continue on. Okay, so, Mr. Kimba, so, buddy, look, uh, first of all, you can buy AK-47 with the last modification. It's very powerful and, uh, you know, pretty affordable. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> it was for four guys. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. Yeah, continue on, guys. <laughs> very portable a rifle, you know, with a, a very heavy, a very fast bullet. So you can hit almost everyone, even a, even a, even a uh, with a you know helmet or some kind of uh, well, body, body, body. Well, I forgot this thing that you wear to protect your body. Oh, you mean a um, armor armor piercing jacket? Or not an armor piercing yeah. jacket, just a body. What the, yeah? What is a uh, vest? What the heck? The bulletproof vest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bulletproof vest, or you know, it's a very good gun. Also, you can uh, buy American M4 M4 A1. It's a pretty famous rifle. It's uh, very precise. You can shoot in long distance, and we can offer you a Barrett. It's a you no know, perfect uh, sniper rifle. With a 15 caliber, you can you know blow the hats, so you can just kill people from left to right. It would be fun, man. 
if you're a psycho, we are can offer you everything. In which country are you producing these guns? Uh, I'm sorry? In which country are you producing these guns? United States, Russia? Well, I represent uh, just, you know, villains, villains from all over the world, but I've got a Russian passport, of course, and American passport, because my CIA you... guys can offer me, you know, uh, cheapest weapons. Because if you were an American, probably I would, I would be thinking that you are going to betray me and when, in well, case of the war... Well, man, I'm just, I'm just going to betray America, not you. I want money, I need money. I don't need this American passport and this American guy, the CIA, Barack Obama. I don't like all this stuff. Z I want Zahid. Zahid. Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, you, sir. you, you got to listen to Zahid. He's a Mossad agent, you know? And he, <laughs> he doesn't like you. <laughs> so, so there you go, Zahid. You got to jump in. Come on. Uh, so, uh, so, uh, so, I will uh, represent uh, as a China uh, and. Uh, you can, you can be where you can be wherever you're from, wherever you can be okay. anywhere. So I will yeah, represent you... China, and uh, I can uh, I, I will offer to suffer because uh, they are in civil war, and uh, I can offer him TT, AK-47, the nerds, and bulletproof jackets, and. Uh, and some uh, suicide bombers as well. Uh, so Safa, so what will what would you like to get? Mm. First of all, did I someone get? Did someone get Chinese me? agent in China? Like America hates you. <laughs> yeah, they hate you. Yeah, man. Don't <laughs> don't you forget about it because they're gonna blow you. Uh, then my father. Was dying, he said me. Was dying, he said me that never trust. I'm not. Me. I'm not. Never trust Chinese. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm not playing a secret role against uh, USA. I am just pretending uh, to help the Safar because they are in uh, civil wars. So, being a human, uh, we should help them. Man, man, Safar, man. So what would you? What would what would you uh, like if to? You're not Americans. Uh, Why you drive Chevy? Why you drive this big, stupid Chevy track? Man, that's <laughs> that's bad. That's you know bad karma because yeah, you're you're like America and you maybe probably even work for American government. So look, buddy, don't listen to this all oh, this tricky man. Uh, yeah, this stupid suburban. <laughs> I so, I can I can sell you plenty of weapons with a uh, thirty five percent discount, but you can sign here right now, and don't listen to these to these. I don't know. He's a liar. So, maybe we can maybe so we can Sapa? shoot him together. Hello, hello, Sapa. Which one the, uh, you are going to give a uh, give a contract? I'm going to decide that. But for now, I'm still thinking because uh, after my father died, I didn't know what to do, and I watched American TV series all the time and played their games. Now I feel like uh, even though Amer <laughs> you're going to war battle with America, I'm gonna buy their weapons. Okay, just, do uh, you want to? Do you want to? Are you pretending so far? Safa, we are pretending. Uh, I am a seller, listen. and you are a buyer. You are a uh, okay. you are in you civil too. war. So just pretend. What do you uh, What would you like to uh, get uh, that uh, could be helpful uh, in your civil war? What would you like to be, uh, What would you like to take? We don't have civil war. Yeah. Where are you from? Are you from Syria? I'm from North Korea. Oh, sorry. Oh, I thought you were from Syria. <laughs> okay, okay, represent the Syria. Uh, no worries, uh, Safa. Uh, you can present uh, uh, Syrian and uh, Iraqi people. I am from Pakistan. I am representing China. Look, you don't need to, you know, to have kind of deals or agreements no, no. with terrorists like him. So listen to me, buddy. Whatever you need. I can offer you. So, just 
Just say what you need. I can sell you a nuclear bomb. Wow. I already the most advanced nuclear bombs in the world, so just sell me 2,000 assault rifles. Uh, 1,000 of them would be M4A1, and 1,000 of them would be AK-47 with scopes. Also, uh, I will need some special uniforms, like in the the color will be like the North Korea's flag, you know, red, blue, and white, and there will be a star just in front of a huge star, and our uh, helmets will be like a uniform, you know, unicorns, uh, those things, I don't know what they call. Okay, it's like Captain North Korea unicorn. Yeah. Oh, that's that's brilliant. We've got it, and we've got these 2,000 of rifles with the scopes, and we're gonna ship it to you right now. So, uh, what about price? Uh, we are not gonna pay the shipment price, and I think one hundred thousand dollars would be enough. One thousand dollars for the for these whole rifles? Yeah. Uh. Well, uh, I can offer you 500 for one rifle. That would be pretty affordable and the best price in the market. You can't buy cheaper. I think the other guy from Pakistan would sell me with a better price. They would sell you AK-47 like 1940-41. It would be useless, you know. But we can offer you the modern, the latest development. You know this, this very, uh, very cool guns. You can kill, you know, all the Chinese, Americans, South Koreans, whoever we want to kill. So you know, don't even think about this cheap rubbish. You know, if it's cheap, it's useless. It's junk. But as far as I know, the AK 47 factory went bankrupt and they're not uh, producing any guns anymore. So they're not the most, they cannot be most advanced or the latest technology. And we, Ooh, I don't know what you're doing with those weapons, but you have to make a discount. Well, man, uh, you know, we've got in Russia, we've got plenty of these factories. So it's not a problem. Like, thousand, it's like nothing. We can sell you a million, a billion. Just pay. Okay. So, so go ahead, Kim John. You got it. You have to. You have to um, make your decision pretty soon. Okay. Yeah, uh, probably I'll go with Paul. Guys. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yo. What about, what about you, Safa? Uh, I think so. Uh, make a negotiation, negotiation with you. Then I don't like your guns or other stuff. They're coming from China, made in China, right? And in case of a battle, probably your uh, weapons will fall apart and will be uh, will be dying with American bullets. Well, man. I I don't know what you think about, but I think you gotta you gotta agree with me. You need my rifles, okay? So my last offer is uh, three hundred and fifty dollars for a unit. That's okay. it's very generous. Okay. Because you are my best friend here. Together we're gonna we're gonna rule the galaxy, and we're gonna okay. build the Death Star and blow everything. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah. one last push, Zahid. No? Okay. All right. I killed him already. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> so, yeah, that's some role play. Hey, Servette, how are you? I am good. Uh, morning, everybody. Hi. Good, good, good to see you, Servette. Hello, Melky Bun. Hi, Melky Bun. Hello, Milky Bun, are you there? Okay. I guess not. Uh, Milky Bun, make sure that you uh, unmute your microphone, okay? Okay. Sadeep. Hey, Sadeep. Okay. That's a great uh, picture yes, of you, Furkan. Isn't this, isn't this uh, you as a little kid? 
If I'm not mistaken, when I was reading about it, yeah, he's supposed to be raised in a mountain or something. Something crazy. Um, hi, Sadiq. How are you today? Hi, sir. I'm fine. How are you today? Okay, good, good, good. Deep, have you ever uh, been in a role play class? No, sir. It's my first. Okay. First All class. Right. Oh, it's your first class. Okay, so good. Good, yeah, good. On this topic. Class. In this topic. On this topic? Okay. All right. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, guys. Ah, shoot. I know some of you guys have played this before, and some of you haven't. Um, yeah, and some more people are coming in. So, hey, Melky Bun, is are you even a real person, Melky Bun? Seventh time, Furcon. <laughs> okay, no, no problem, Furcon. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, here we go. So, Sudeep. Yes, sir. Yeah, who's who's your favorite uh, celebrity? Uh, Hollywood or Bollywood? Who's that? In Hollywood or in Bollywood? Um, try in Hollywood, just so it's somebody we know. Just because I don't think everybody. <laughs> um, no, no, I don't. I don't mean it. I don't mean it that way. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. You know, yeah. I understand the significance of Bollywood and the amount of movies that it's putting out. Okay, I understand no, that. No. But um, I frequently uh, watch Hollywood movies. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. So who's your who's your favorite actor? Uh. In male Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt. Yeah. All right. Got it. Got it. So that's Brad Pitt. Hey, um, Servette. Yes. Yeah. Do you think that you can interview Brad Pitt? Uh, yes. Okay. All right. <laughs> so here's here's uh the interview sheet in here. So, by the way, you might be interrupted. Okay. Oh. You might get interrupted a few times when you're interviewing him. And uh, Sudeep. So yeah. Sudeep. So you, do you know a lot about Brad Pitt? No, not much. I I know about Bollywood heroes movies. Okay. So you know Brad Pitt uh, and Anjali, right? And they have these kids, right? So they adopt these kids from all around the world, but yet they can't adopt any kids from the United States for some reason. Did you know about that? <laughs> no, no. Yeah, yeah. So they adopt these kids. I don't think they really actually touch these kids when they're at home. I think they probably put them in a cage. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, so they. No, so no, they, no. So they, That's not true. Yeah. That's not true. How do you know it's not true? They are good people. Why should we do the. They don't need to do, the, do this. <laughs> Well, yeah, but if they're good people, how come they don't adopt all these poor uh, kids in the United States? So, no, it, it's okay. You know, see, when some people travel, I don't know if you knew this or not, but in the United States, some people, they collect these spoons. So these different travel spoons, when you go around, you collect different spoons, like you are from Port went to Portland, all these different things. So Brad and um, Angeli, they just collect kids, okay? But it's okay. Um, so, all right. So, uh, go ahead, Servette. Start to interview Brad Pitt. Okay. Okay. So, uh, I'm a movie maker or something? No, no, no. You're just a regular guy. Just a regular, um, you know, like reporter. Maybe you work for one of the uh, tabloids or something like that. You know, go ahead. Okay. Hello, Brett. Mm, thanks for accepting our interview request. You are about to be uh, on air. Uh, do you have any wishes before we start? We have 10 seconds for, for live stream. 8, okay. 5, 3, 2, <laughs> 1. It feels yes. like real. <laughs> Welcome everybody. Today we will interview Brad Pitt. Thanks, Brad Pitt. Thanks for accepting our request. How was your week? Uh, how did you come here? Did you find? How was your travel here? Good. Hello. Okay, there you go, Brad. 
Okay, there. Hello, Brad. Am I am I Hello? muted? Yeah. Go ahead. So how Hello. how was your trip? Yeah, how was your trip to the interview, Sadiq? Go ahead. You're Brad yeah. Pitt. Uh, oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, I've just finished my latest movies. Like anything. I don't know name of movie. But let's let's say Pirates of Caribbean. <laughs> just for oh. example. Yeah. Oh, that's great. And we are. We will be the first channel who will announce this new news. This is a shot. This is a breaking news. Can you tell us about what's yeah. your new movie? What kind? Yeah. What's its genre? Is Angelina yeah, will play yeah. with you? No, no. There is no Angelina in this movie. <laughs> this movie oh, is uh, all about pirates from all over, all around the world. So. <laughs> It's a good movie to watch. It's second part. Oh, Pirates. What's your Pirates of Caribbean? Uh, oh, what's your uh, role in that movie? Will you be will you replace uh, Yeah, I, yeah, I am in leading role. My name is Jack Sparrow in, oh. in the character in movie. You are the name is Jack Sparrow then. Yeah. Have you seen first part of Pirates of Caribbean? Yes, of course. I think all our audiences oh. are yeah. fan of this movie. Yeah, yeah. It's a very famous movie. I've seen that uh, many times. Yeah. Can you so tell us? Are, uh, yeah. yes. yes, please. Yeah, please go on. Yeah. Can you tell us about your... Uh, People who will sh share the stage with you. Uh, uh, who will you play with in this movie? What will be the, like the second uh, yeah. actor with you? Or what would yeah. you call that? The second yeah, actor. Who, yeah, yeah, just yeah. Moment. So who'll be in your supporting role, right? Yes. Okay. So, roles, so are you are you guys, are you guys going to be pirates again, Sadiq? What kind of pirates are you going to be? Are you guys going to be butt pirates? No, uh, ship, ship. We are in ship. What's that? Uh, uh, black, uh, black bird. It's my ship's name. Oh, black beard. Black bird. Black bird. Black beard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But you know how there's different kinds of pirates, right? Okay. Yeah. So there's there's all different kinds of pirates. So, um, sorry, I didn't know if you wanted to be a butt pirate this time when you guys are when you guys are in your role. Okay, no problem. So, um, so let's continue on here. So, go ahead, continue with the uh, continue with the interview. Go on. Yeah, go ahead, Servet. Me? It's, it's his yeah. turn. I asked my question. Mm -hmm. If Angelina Jolie won't play, who will be the your friend in that movie? Supporting actors. Yeah, it's Eli what? Elizabeth. It's Elizabeth Swan. Oh, Elizabeth Swan. She's a beautiful actress. What do you yeah. think? Do you think Angelina will be jealous of you or not? Do you have any yeah. special <laughs> scenes in that movie? Will we see something yeah. like this? I know our yeah, audiences are <laughs> waiting for your answers. Yeah. yeah, she's jealous. Might be. Okay. Well, Angelina, uh, the name of heroine is Katie, Katie uh, Knightley, and character name is Elizabeth Swan. Yes. Katie okay. Knightley. So yeah, I see, want to uh, talk a little street. bit about your yeah. history of acting. Where did you start? How did you decide it to be actor? Did you uh, do you have any role model? Uh, Can you tell us about? My, yeah, my role model is Amita Bachchan. <laughs> okay, so so hey guys, all the, all of a sudden somebody's gonna break into the uh, the interview. <laughs> okay, all right, okay. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's gonna be uh, Paul. And what yes. Paul is, Paul's a Paul's a lawyer for the kids. Okay. 
So <laughs> what's happening is, okay. so uh, yeah, so what's happening is the kids have a um, the kids have a class action lawsuit. Do you guys know what a class action lawsuit is? No, okay. no idea. It's, yeah, it's when a group of people get together and then they sue. They usually sue a company, right? <laughs> So what's happened is all these kids have gotten together and they've kind of figured out that, that life with Brad Pitt just really isn't worth it because he's kind of crazy, you know. And, uh, and Angelie, she won't stop with the Botox and the lips and everything else. So, um, so yeah, Brad, you're going to have to break into the interview and talk to Brad, okay? Paul, just break into it. Talk to him, explain to him, you know, that their children no longer want to be with them. Um, that they're going to send the kids back to their country and that they're going to replace them with regular uh, white kids from the United States. Or just, just whatever you want to make up, Paul. Go ahead. Okay. So, Brad, you know, yeah. your kids told me that uh, you're such a crazy father and Angelina is a bad mother because no, you, no, no. You, you don't love them. You, you know, you never, you never play with them. You just... No, Just no, that's not give true. Money, and they are not happy with your life. So, if you've got uh, thirty million, you can pay me, and I'll go away. But if you don't want to pay me, I no, will. No, no. I will. Uh, I'll make your life just crazy. I will sue you, and the little children will sue you. We will destroy you, your whole career, your marriage, your mortgage. Please stop! You, please stop! Uh, I cannot listen. This, this is not a true. Don't it blame me. True, man. I'm a very good father. It's true. <laughs> and, Please don't you know, blame me. <laughs> we, that's we've not got me. a video of your kids. They 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 talking Please bad things. About you. It's not true. Sorry, sorry. We have a problem here. You break into you broke into the interview yeah. and you are that's not uh, good to blaming yeah. our my guest. Do you have you don't any? Have any uh, you don't bro, have any evidence I can't, for that. Me, I can't I'm the war. If you don't have I'm, any proof, we are all here. I have to defend my guest. I don't care about so, what you need. I don't care about what you want. Okay. Yeah. So, Paul, no. Paul, let it, let no. it, let him have some breathing room, okay? <laughs> what? Go ahead. Keep going, guys. Uh, let him have some breathing room. Go ahead, guys. Continue on, though. Okay, teacher. Please make Furkan to my friend so he can help me. <laughs> <laughs> you want you want Furkan to be your friend to help you? Yeah. Well, how, how's he how's he gonna be your how's he gonna be your friend? Yeah, okay, he's Fur sitting next to me in interview. Let's see. Maybe if Furkan doesn't mind, she uh, he can be Angela Giuliani. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's mad. <laughs> we don't have any woman in this angle, so. <laughs> no, in yeah. no worries, we can act. Just the role play. If he doesn't mind. <laughs> no. If he minds, or stuff. Furkan, Furkan can sit next to me and help me. Is it good idea, teacher? Oh, ask Furkan. So, Furkan, <laughs> are, you, are you game for uh, for playing the role of Angeli? <laughs> Do you want to kiss no, him? No, not not Angeli. <laughs> <laughs> well, then who? Who, who, do you, who do you want him to be? He's my friend. Okay. Let's well, say Johnny um, Depp. Johnny Depp. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You could be Johnny Depp. Okay, there yeah, you go. Yeah, good, good character. <laughs> Who's Johnny Depp? Oh, you guys know Johnny, Johnny Depp, Depp is a hero, real hero, Pirates of Caribbean. <laughs> he's a Jack he's Sparrow. A, yeah, he's a Jack Sparrow. My favorite. Worst pirate <laughs> ever. Old manager, Furkan. Maybe your manager yeah, of he... Brad Pitt. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my God! Look at this picture of him, though. Holy Toledo! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> oh, what kind of look is that? Um, yeah, Furkan. Why don't you be Brad Pitt's manager? Help him out okay. because Paul is just going to run him over. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Go, go, go ahead, okay, Paul, what's your problem with Brad? I don't My problem? He... I don't have a problems. His children have a problem with him because they hate him and hate the mother because they they say, you know, they they do bad things with us. Uh, we live in a cage, you know, 
the cage made of gold, but it, it is a cage. It's no Wi-Fi, no television. No, 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 no that's no not friends. true. We but provide no, all facilities with with a tiger children. and tiger yeah. wanna eat us. So you know, just <laughs> nasty things, crazy things. I I can't believe it. So I just oh, want you are a crazy in. guy. Please stop. Hey, hey. I just want to throw me out. I love exaggerating things like, you know, yesterday they wanted me, they want me to buy some uh, video games like Call of Duty or other things. But you know, look at this child. They're almost. Nine or ten years old, and you, they cannot play those games. I cannot let them to play; otherwise, they will be uh, hunting people, hunting people down. So, we said in a gentle way, a kind way, that we cannot uh, buy those games to you. And suddenly, they called police and other thing that they can call to ask help. And they exaggerated all the things, like they were living in a cage and other things that, like, you're giving them tires to eat. They're just uh, ridiculous. And I'm surprised that you believe those things. Well, you know, one of these, one of these kids from Philippines, tell me, told me that uh, Brad, you know, he he yeah. tell him that he's, you know, cross-tied. So that was. Bad. Yeah, that was very offensive for him, because he he's got absolutely you know a perfect vision and his eyes are okay, and uh, you know all these uh, racist uh, you know, things that he allows to to themselves to you know to to the children that's that's ridiculous, and uh, you know society want to to you know no, no want that's not true to right? want me to you know to take some no. I don't know measures. You don't have any, you don't have any evidence to prove that all these things. I don't need Please. evidence. I I can no, blackmail no, you. I can, you can uh, I'll get no. a Twitter Twitter account. I can <laughs> I can write whatever you don't whatever know. I, I have want. lots of money. I have a billion a billion billions blah, of rupees. Blah 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 man man I'm a uh, mass media. I mess me. I can do whatever I want, you know. No, I can make I your life just, just insane, you know. All no, your, Paul, you all your crazy achievements person. would be forgotten, and you would be forgotten, and your wife and your children will be, I don't know, adopted with a servant, uh, servant, please say something. Korean, to Paul. Korean family. Paul yeah. is a mad. Yeah, for so, Sorry, I want to. Uh, interrupt you because I just learned that my crew is in Brett's house and they are ready to interview their kids. And we are about to connect this okay. place. Where is security who allowed Paul to come inside our interview room? Please <laughs> tell security to go out. <laughs> He's a crazy person. <laughs> I paid security a hundred dollars, hundred dollars each or so. They 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 won't do anything to me. Let us let us connect to our Brad's home and do some little interview. Was there his name? Paul is crazy. Teacher, do you know what's their kids' names? One of them, or we don't make it up. The, the kids' names. Um, yeah. just name. Uh, yeah, I I really uh, I don't I don't know. I I think she names them <laughs> after the movies, right? You know. So no, I, I, I don't. Yeah, I don't know the names of the kids. Yeah, just anything. Jackie, Jenny. Uh, this time, Jackie. Jackie sounds. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hello, little Jackie. Uh, thanks for accepting us. Your father is our in studio, and she is facing some questions. We want to ask you something. Yes. Can I ask you something? <laughs> yes, I can ask you. <laughs> what do you think about your father and? Mother, do you think you have a good relationship? Do they take care of you? Uh, yes! I hate him! <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not true, Jackie. Why do you he hate your... your father? Why do you hate your father? Why do you say this? D doesn't he take care of you? Or does he beat you? Can you tell us something um, about your life here? Because we are here to help you if there is something. Uh, well, well, stop you know. this. Stop questioning this guy. I, I'm, I'm his lawyer. I'm, you know, I'm Jackie's lawyer. So I'm gonna tell you. You know, the he, he, you know, not only, not only beat, beat children, but he, you know, humiliate them. You know, call them walks and all this stuff. You know, 
he I don't know some bad things I can't even I can't even say about it because millions of people are watching us and this would be you know this would, this would be bad you know sometimes he closed the the door in their rooms and you know uh, don't open it for like five or six days and he say hey you're gonna be like you know Spartan kids you're gonna be strong and uh, no food you know, no water so that's crazy Oh. By the way, I'm wondering with whose money they can afford you. They need money, and I don't think they're working in a job uh, recently. And all the money they get are coming from me, right? So if I cut those uh, resources off, you would be uh, broke. You, you, you tell this to me? Yeah. Aren't you a lawyer? Yes, I am. But I don't work the for the kid. <laughs> Yeah, I think you know, uh, children don't pay to me, you know, because yeah. because Angelina pays to me. Angelina you know, he thinks pays. that he's he's you know, that's her her husband. He's an awful dad. You can know, file a divorce uh, case or something instead of taking those childs or well, well, actually, children. he's cheating. He's she's cheating and all because. He's my, she's my girlfriend, but you know mm -hmm. your clients, your, your Brad, he, he doesn't know about it. We've got kind of we've got a, some kind of love affair for five years, you know. So I, I don't think that you can, some, some, somehow, you know, influence to, to, to Angelina, and she, she thinks that uh, they have to get rid of these children because. She she told me I don't I don't want these children anymore. They are old fashioned. I need something new like Chihuahua or something, you know, or new new Prada suit, maybe shoes. Do you because remember? children, they 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 are they they demand too much. They demand money. They demand you know, attention. They demand love and all this stuff. And she she don't want it. She don't yeah. need it. As she far as I know, we are on air, and you told everything about that. And I, I as I understand, uh, the old story was just fake uh, to to divorce from or something. Yeah, and I think your purpose is to get rid of your child, right? So you almost confessed everything, and it that, that means um, Brad Pitt will get rid of those. Uh, charges, and you will lose. Well, you can pay me thirty millions, and I will lose this case. I will forget about all these things I told you, and the children will be happy, you know. And uh, Angelina will divorce with Brad, and we start. We'll start a family, and everybody will be happy, including you know haters and lovers and blah blah blah. So. Just pay to me, or you will be you will you will lose these children, and it will be bad for your her image, your popularity popularity of Brad you know, will be just destroyed. I think they're not married; they're just uh, living in the same house, but not married. So there won't be any divorce uh, case. Okay, so she she just uh, she just will you know. Live with me. That's it. And uh, ad adopted children will be, you know, readopt re with the you know parents in America or I don't know North Korea. I don't care, man. I just I just need a money and I need a truth. I, I need you know the world to know the truth about about the bad the bad attitude of Brad. That's yeah, it. it's gonna be a problem for Brad. You know, there is a lot of there are a lot of fish in the sea. And you can find any anyone you want. So, you know, you so uh, yeah. So, guys. So, what what role is Servette? So, Paul, you're still the lawyer for the children, and Furkan, you're the uh, representative for Brad Pitt. Um, yeah. Servette, yes. what about you? Are you are you the children? Are you one of the one of the uh, one of the kids? Do you want to jump in here and have your say about uh, Angelie and Brad? Yes, I can. Go ahead. 
Go ahead, jump into this and figure out what's going on. Okay, uh, I'm Jackie. <laughs> no way. I think I think Paul is t not telling the truth because uh, Paul Paul is blackmailing me if I don't talk the way he wants. He I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Who are you? You're the six-year-old Jenny or Jackie. You're not growing up to tell these things to me. The only thing you care about is, Sorry, you know, to, to, to play to with a to doll kid. or to, 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 to watch it or to give Look we at you. To give him Look at you. You're smoking. Man, that's disgusting. You're, you're six years old and you're smoking like a, I don't know, like a junkie. Oh. <laughs> that's, that's awful. That's embarrassing. It is just... And my you know, when I drink your, it, I feel your awful parents allows you. To I feel more it. relaxed. You this. It, my doctor suggested it. I mean, it's it's a part of my treatment, so you cannot blame me. Do you have a doctor degree? What do you doctor, have glaucoma? You told me you you tell me that your doctor prescribed you to to smoke marijuana because you're a six years old crazy black child child. No, it's just a part of my treatment. I had a, my old parents uh, well, used to give me this and we are be, just will be uh, decreasing the amount. This is a part of treatment, so if you have a problem with this, you need to talk to, talk to the doctor. <laughs> oh, really? Uh, it's a little junky. You did those things because of Brad. Brad paid all of the rehabilitation money and uh, we when we came there and you were smoking all the time like you were a junkie and uh, Angelina said that oh sh uh, he's, he was suffering we have to do something and I said okay we're gonna adapt him and we get we adopted almost ten more ch children in that town and now your life is better than your previous life you can play any game okay you're living in a cage but it's better than the other. I don't know what to add. I don't know what to say. Your guys are crazy. Your place in San Quentin because I don't know. That's that's ridiculous when six year old you no know, boy smokes and I don't know what whatever he did whatever he does. That's just crazy. As an as an interviewer, uh, the studio moderator, I have to. I learned new things. I want to ask Paul why these claims uh, appeared after we learned Brad will uh, Brad is about to uh, unveil his new film, and we learned that you are also a lawyer of the rival company, and the company is about to go bankrupt. So people, our audiences, uh, likely likely to think that you want to disgrace them to um, to save your company and maybe to receive some bribe or ransom to stop talking these things about people. What do you think about this? I don't have an idea what you're, what I'm talking about. That's crazy, man. I think it's just making things up. Maybe you're, you know... I yep. you to lawyer of the rival company, and what is the economic situation of the company? We know that the, uh, well, I don't the stock market's you. value uh, is decreasing for years. It's none of your business, man. I'm here to provide you know, the justice to, to protect these poor children that are suffering. That's it. But no, it's hard as to you know, a as a moderator, we have to unveil the truth so this is my business I have to I ask this. Is, it true, is it true that your company is uh, about to go bankrupt and maybe you want to receive some ransom people no. tell us what do you think our manager do you <laughs> Paul, Paul you are crazy Paul please stop you don't have any evidence to prove. Please stop. You are a crazy person. Please go. 
Please get out. Uh, oh, he did. He did. He, did. he, did. he left. <laughs> that worked, Brad. <laughs> I am. I am angry right now. Please, please stop. <laughs> well done. Yeah. But but what do you guys think? See, though? I mean, see my uh, name. See my name. I am Brad Pitt. Yeah. You know that I have lots of money. But, I will okay. put you behind bars and behind jails if you say something else about my children. <laughs> You know, it was some technical problems, so I, I I didn't know what you what you were talking about. I think that's your you say yes, I'm a bad father, and I'm gonna you know get rid of these children. So that's a wise decision. And no, I'm good father. Who said that? No, no, Paul, you are a crazy person. Do so you, what? you know, Wolf, we are we are on air right now. So if the things that you say is not correct, you may be sued. Uh, because of this speech, so I I suggest you to bring some proof or at least yeah, well, well, to say we sorry because you were all heard the Moses. words of of one of you, you may be in trouble. And you uh, know he told yes, father is bad. Father beat me. Father beats me. Father you know humiliates <laughs> no. me and all this stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all right yeah, on the YouTube. You it's crazy. like you twenty million crazy. viewers. You are coming from mental hospital. You don't have a mind. Speaking anything, <laughs> you are crazy. Furkan, please say something crazy. to this guy. Furkan, please yeah. say something why, to Paul. Why, why is you know repeat this? You are crazy, or because I know that I'm crazy. So what? So please stop talking. Why? You don't have anything to prove. Situation. Because of your mental situation, you cannot sue us. Yeah. Yes, That's I can. So Furkan. Oh. <laughs> you know, you brought a six-year-old kid and he's talking about ransom or other things. I think uh, he was inspired by taking you know, Liam Nielsen or something. I don't know how did he learn all of that stuff, but I don't think uh, he is, is honest. Someone behind him uh, whispering his ear to say those things. Because yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe that was you. But we saw the picture of Angelina and Brad and his child who was smoking. Smoking, man. You know, that's crazy. Six year old kid you know, says that I'm smoking because my doctor prescribed me this. Who's the doctor? That's, that's not true. That's, that's not, true. not true. That's a oh, false story. Really? Oh, man. That story you is in your dream. You are in my, dream right my now. My dreams? Just go yeah. to youtube.com and you know the hottest no. video would be yours when your children, no. when your child, were smoking. That's that's not true. Mm. You know there are eighteen more children. We can talk with them. Maybe one of them has a problem, some kind of problems like smoking. Uh, and other problems that I haven't heard of, but the other children are perfectly educated and know how to behave, know how to talk uh, in front of the people. Uh, we are great parents, and we believe that we're gonna. Why? Why them. you say we? Me? Oh. <laughs> oh man! Oh man! man. <laughs> Dad. I I get it. Finally, finally, finally. I understand. Yeah. No. <laughs> That's illegal. That's illegal. I'm gonna see you for this. Thank you, Mr. Manager. You're too clever. Mr. Shock, shock, shock. Oh, sorry. It's Turkish. How do you say shock in English? Kurkan. Shock. Yes, shock. Shock, shock, shock. We just learned that the manager has a relationship <laughs> with Brad Pitt. <laughs> but, oh, that's wow. not true. <laughs> <laughs> You're <a> criminals. <laughs> Maybe you make your children suffer. That's for sure. Now it's crystal clear. This is the second time. <laughs> it was just a bite. It was a slip of tongue of my manager. Nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the slipping tongue got you in hot water. So yeah, well, Please hey guys, water of <laughs> no, 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 no. You're in hot water. That's a uh, an expression. So here, let me let me show you. It's okay though. 
in hot water. Okay. Uh, Trouble. You know? So yeah, here's a person who's in hot water. Okay? So that means you're in trouble. Well, hey guys, I'm going I'm to end this. I have a pronunciation class and then a uh, beginner grammar class. It was good uh, Good to see you, Servette. Long time no, no see. You. So, okay. I'm so good. It's right, for Khan, Paul, and uh, Sudeep. I'll see you guys yeah, later. Thank okay. you, sir. Thank you. All right, okay. go, go adopt some children. Okay? <laughs> see you guys. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Okay, thanks, Paul. Thanks.